All right. Let's cover this uh, percentile example for the normal distribution. These are the two things I need. And actually, this is kind of funny. I cut this out of a book that I used to teach out of because uh, I don't care anymore about that, right? <laughs> I used to carry this around with me everywhere, right? Z table is life when you're studying for exam P. So you need one of these and you need one of these. So for this question, um, here's what I decided to call my random variables, X and Y, typical, right? I have the uh, SAT scores 1982. This is for Abby's mother. And the mean that year was 503 variance 9604. And I also have the SAT scores 2008 for Abby herself, where the mean was 521. And the variance was 1,201. Uh, now, what does the question say? Um, so we're first given that Abby's mother's score was in the 93rd percentile. So we're given, we're given that for Abby's mother, which she was in 1982, her score is in the 93rd percentile. So therefore, we need to, just by definition, right, we need to find because right? we need to find what her score was because then Abby got the same score in 2008. So we need to find, uh, I like using the notation pi for percentile. Uh, we need to find um, pi such that uh, the mother score in 1982, okay, I want to know what is going to be uh, the probability uh, that x is less than or equal to pi is equal to 0 0.93. In other words, what I'm doing here is I'm finding the score, I'm finding the score P that corresponds to the 93rd percentile in the year 1982. Not that bad, not that bad, just use the definition of, um, well, I need to convert this to Z, right? <clears throat> so hence, hence we have the following probability that Z then I'm going to make this into a standard normal random, mm -hmm. so standard normal, uh, standard normal normal, yeah, what am I talking about? Standard normal random variable, right? So pi minus the mean, so pi minus the mean divided by the standard deviation, so square root 9604 is equal to 0 0.93. Now, I just need my Z table. Here's my Z table here. And I'm going to look for, now, you need some practice with this if you haven't had enough. You need to make sure you don't get this, like where to find this number, right? This is in the interior of this thing, right? So 93rd percentile, to me, well, of course I hate the situation because um, they don't have the exact number, but it's over here and, um, well, 0.9306 is the value I'm looking at, and it's 1.48. So this corresponds to 1.48, which means which means that pi minus 503 divided by square root 9604 is equal to 1.48. 1.48, yes. Uh, do some algebra, just get pi by itself. What you should get, what you should get here is that this tells me that pi, which is going to represent uh, Abby's mother's score, is 648. 0.04. Uh, when I round this, uh, why would I round this? First of all, they tell me that scores are basically given as round to the nearest tenth. So. Uh, this tells me that um, the score that she got uh, is equal to 650. So SAT scores are given to the nearest tenth. So I'm seeing that I have 650 there. All right, wonderful. Uh, now I need to find the percentile of Abby's score. Abby got the same thing. So uh, also... So also, um, Abby's score, this is her mom's score, 650, she got the same score, and now I need to compute this for Y. So now I have that the probability uh, that Y is less than or equal to 
I want to find the percentile in the year 2008 for 650 equals P, right? I need to find P. I need to find P and we'll be good to go. All right, same thing, same thing. So this tells me the probability Z is less than or equal to 650 minus the mean 521 divided by the square root of 10, uh, 201 is equal to P. And this tells me that the probability Z, so do this in the calculator. And what you should get there is, I believe I'm getting 1.2772, so 1.28. When I look at my Z score, 1.28, 1.28, is 0 0.8997, 0 0.8997. If you round this, uh, this is 90th percentile. So, and this should kind of make sense. I mean, it should be less than whatever it was for Abby's mom. Uh, they got the same score. But the average was lower for 1982. Also, the variance was lower. So I think the answer makes sense. And uh, this is what I'm getting, 90th percentile for this question. Hope it was helpful. Uh, I did look, actually did, after I did this, I looked at SOA's solution. <laughs> With all these sets of problems, they just verbalized through them. And actually, by the way, look at the other percentile questions. There are some much trickier ones than this. Uh, one of them I in particular I consider, uh, considered doing related to the 14th percentile. I have a very nice algebraic way of going about that. Uh, they just explain it. I hated that solution. I figured out another way. If you're interested, request it and find where it is in SOA questions. Anyways, tell me what you think. Thank you for subscribing.